Essentially, this is publish, subscribe. Another way of thinking of this is that it's sometimes called implicit invocation. But essentially, let's look at it this way. Let's say that there's some software subsystem in this massively distributed system. And this software subsystem is responsible for monitoring the health of this large distributed application. So this application is running on computers spread over the country. Great. Everywhere there's a node in the computing network, there's this little chunk of software called a monitor, which is looking at how healthy is this particular node. So that somewhere there's a network's operation center that's gathering up all this data and it allows them to understand how the network is performing. Is that node going down? Is there some problem on this link between that node and another? Great. Each monitored element has one of these sensors that's managing the health, watching, monitoring the health inside that, uh, that particular monitored element. Great. The analyzer that's sitting in the network ops center needs the status information from the sensors. It's going to collect up all this information, and it's from that going to derive what the status of the entire distributed network is. Great. Now, the key here is the analyzer needs the status change information as soon as possible after it changes. If something happens like, oh, let me add a different flavor of analyzer. Getting back here, because these things don't change very often, and further, uh, because I'm going to clog the network here, then rather having the analyzer ask the sensor what its status is, I'm just going to have the sensor say, when my status changes, go tell the analyzer that my status has changed. So I just sit here waiting, and T call is different, and if you happen to be in if def vista, do it this other way, if def xp, blah, 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 and everywhere there's a system dependency, they've got a bunch of if defs there to deal with the system dependencies, and then they pound define and do the compile. Okay, you want the NT driver? We'll pound define uh, version to be NT, blah, 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 now, okay, give me the NT version, great. Now you see with the proliferation of operating systems that's out there, their code is going to be monstrously difficult when you have to deal with all versions dating back to, you know, Windows 3.2 and blah, blah, blah. Oh, but then you also have to do, deal with the Linux flavors and the uh, uh, Mac versions before they went to the fundamental Linux-based approach, blah, blah. So their code complexity is just an absolute nightmare. That's a real-world example. We would, did this class for them, and they said, oh, boy, we wish we knew this 10, 15 years ago. This would have made life so much easier.